Today this journey is about the pillar of light technique. So before we begin any action, please create a sacred space for yourself, which includes surrounding yourself with visuals that you hold sacred. Something that you, like a crystal, uh, a statue of a guide uh, that you hold sacred in front of you. And make sure that you have no interruption for about 20 minutes. Okay? And then just make yourself very comfortable and listen. Okay. Now light. It is for those reasons that I'd like to share the pillar of light technique and the light decree for every one of you they are two of the keys from the master key ring the effects when done together are profound light that enters your body activates codes of higher consciousness divine consciousness already held within the cells of your being. Remember your divinity is inside your humanity, waiting to be made active. You will undoubtedly feel every atom, cell and electron radiate and vibrate at a higher frequency. Your heart will expand. You will feel cohesive and strong and prepared to usher in the new year and keep the entire year lit up. The pillar of light technique and speak the light degree to your precious selves sincerely, consciously and devotionally and please pass this on to many as possible. So let's do this together. December 31st and January 1st is the precise time is irrelevant. Irre and then, beloveds, let's anchor in the strong intention to have a happy and divine new year together. Believe me, the ripples will be felt in the cosmos and in your bodies. The pillar of light technique is simple, though it requires practice. Its purpose is to help you to open up your inner pathways to light that is being transmitted to you from higher realms of consciousness and to keep the light you receive intact and always surrounding you. With this action, you are consciously activating what has been dormant or barely sparking while steeped in your human nature. Human nature is merely content with intelligence while your divine one is thirsting for wisdom and truth, light. Let it drink, beloveds, from the wellspring of eternal light that is yours for partaking. When you complete the pillar of light technique, speak the light decree immediately afterward. It will expand the light you have called forth. Your physical body as well as your entire field of energy, which includes your consciousness, will be filled with light. Remember that light casts out darkness, wisdom casts out fear, and truth overshadows doubt. 
read both the pillar of light technique and the light decree through once or twice to familiarize yourself with both. There will be a copy beside the video so you, your mind doesn't try to interpret them while you are in the midst of the action. Take your mind out of it. Put your heart into it. So now for the pillar of light technique. Stand tall and if for any reason you cannot physically stand tall, visualize yourself doing so. Before you begin this technique, please invoke this prayer. From the light and the power of God that I am, I open to receive the light of all that is. I am surrounded and protected as I open myself to receive pure light and so it is. Now visualize yourself as a strong sturdy being with a pillar of light running the length of your spine. Now imagine extending that pillar of light as far upwards towards the skies as you can. Take your time. It's important for you to connect with each step of this technique. Now surround your entire self in a sphere of golden white light as high, as wide and as deep as your mind's eye can imagine. your entire field of energy including the pillar of light within it. Make sure you are holding this image before you proceed. In your mind's eye, go to the center of your heart. There in the center, you will find a small chamber that already holds a spark of light. See it in your inner eyes before you move ahead. That spark of light, beloveds, is your spark of God light. That is God in you. That is where you connect to all of yourself. Really connect to the spark of God light. 
within your heart. From the center of your heart, take three deep breaths, fanning the spark of light with each breath. As you breathe in, hold for a moment and then exhale with a sigh. Do that three times, flaming the spark of light more each time. your attention to the top of your head. This is your crown chakra, your crown energy center. This is an energy center that takes you beyond your physical form and when opened allows you to connect and tap into higher realms of consciousness, higher realms of light, Eventually, you'll begin to feel the stimulation at the crown of your head as it automatically opens to receive light. Even though you are not consciously activating it, when that happens, simply stop, breathe deeply and consciously allow yourself to be filled. Draw light from high above you into you with your breath. Draw it down through your crown energy center, lighting up the entire pillar of light within you and radiate light throughout your entire body. Then exhale the light you have drawn in through your solar plexus in a circular motion surrounding your body with light, love and assuredness. Now, strongly visualize the above motion. Notice that the golden white sphere of light around you is 
keeping the light you draw into you intact. Do this three times and remain still for a couple of moments before speaking aloud the following. We will say this together, the light decree. From the light of God that I am, I decree. The light and I are one. This moment I flood myself with light, casting out doubts and fears as I touch every corner of my being with light. I honour the light of God within. I honour the light of God above. It is all one, connecting at different points, and I am one with it everywhere. I will not let anything come between us I will stay connected to light and love always. I will no longer deny my oneness with all of creation. I am ending all bonds of darkness and separation from eternal light and love. Now for all time, I am light filled with all weights are gone. I am surrounded above and below with pure light and pure love. I charge and I charge and I charge myself with radiant and I am light. I feel the flow of light that now makes all things right. All that is meant to be mine by divine right has light cast upon it. It is released to me in divine right order, unhindered, under grace in a magical way. I am love, light, power, and divine wisdom and so it is and so I let it be I wish to give thanks to Maureen Moss who I am very grateful for sharing this beautiful technique with us may we all have a divine new year with many blessings Namaste Thank you for being here today.